temperature is quickly shifting towards spring in much of the U.S., and that means it's time to get your car ready for the warmer weather. So what can you do to make sure you have a happy season of motoring and make sure that your car is shiny and new all at the same time? Join us now from Buffalo, New York, is car coach Lauren Fix. Thanks for being with us this morning, Lauren. Let's talk about the first and most important thing you need to do to get your car ready for spring. Well, number one thing is you need to pull out that owner's manual and see what kind of mileage you have in your car because based on distance and usage of the vehicle is where you need to do that maintenance. So if it says it's time for an oil change based on your vehicle and everyone's different, now is the time to do that because just like you're ready to put on your sneakers and go outside and start running outside, you probably want to check the sneakers of your car, which are your tires. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if they're bald, if, boy, you know, you had winter tires, you want to switch to summer, whatever it may be, you have damage from potholes, which we're going to start seeing. You might have bubbles on the side or you ran over something. Don't forget to have your tires checked because there's only four things that touch the ground no matter what That's you're driving. True. That is true. All mm -hmm. right, so what kind of damage should you look for, you know, between snow and ice? Or is it really just salt that does the corrosion? Does snow and ice really damage the car? The snow and ice is just what's in the snow because we know we have got all kinds of things that are in rain. So that'll just take down the shine of your car. That can be repaired by either having someone wash and wax your car or do it yourself. You could burn 200 calories an hour. <sighs> It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, but underneath the salt really is the most damaging part to the vehicle. And this is where you need to have a professional technician look at it, an ASE certified tech, because brake lines, fuel lines, exhaust systems, all those can cause serious safety health and health hazards to you. And that's why it's important all that calcium chloride they put in there. It's not salt. We used to put rock salt down. Yeah. It's calcium chloride, and it is very corrosive. And there are brand new cars that are having brake lines rot out and having no brakes on an intersection. Section is extremely scary. Yeah, m minor detail there. Uh, what is the biggest yeah. thing people tend to forget when the temperatures go from cold to warm? I think they forget about wiper blades. If you've got winter wiper blades, to switch them. Have all those oils changed and everything. Get a good wash and wax on your car and clean out that interior. Get a vacuum and clean it out yourself. Get the kids involved. That salt and grime and everything you brought into your car is eating a hole through your carpeting and it definitely can impact the value of your vehicle. So you want to get that cleaned up as well. All right, Lauren Fix, we always enjoy having you. Uh, thank you for coming thank on. You. you can always ask her more questions on Twitter.